Okay, final installment of 2014 Impala going from the IO3 small little 4 inch screen to a 2016 actually. Uh, I went to uh, IO5 in 2016 because I wanted the uh, Apple CarPlay and um, I also actually added the uh, AV module as well, uh, which I can show you how it works. Uh, the install, if you're doing the IO3 install to uh, IO5 or, or really anything in that area where you're going to be near the HMI, it's pretty easy. Uh, everything Anthony does, he sets you up with a um, a harness that we just plug and play. Uh, there might be like two other small connections to power and ground, but that's pretty much it. Um, so anyway, uh, it took me a while to kind of do this video because I had to put my whole dash back together and I wasn't putting the dash back together because I was uh, doing an, an upgrade here with uh, the digital uh, thermostat for the HVAC. But anyway, um, the very last thing I actually have to do is uh, get this installed. And actually this came off the four inch screen, but you know, GM being the eternal geniuses they are, there's a different cap that goes on the the screen that goes up and down than the cap that goes on the uh, the four inch screen that doesn't move. I, I have no idea. They're very very close, but I ended up having to order this piece uh, to pop on there. So if you are going from the four inch screen up to the uh, big eight inch my link, you're gonna have to buy this piece, uh, and it's it's like eighty bucks I think, seventy eight dollars. So anyway, just to run you quickly through, uh, I can't show you the CarPlay because as soon as I plug it in, it's gonna stop my video, but uh, it works great. So it's gonna pop up right here as soon as you plug CarPlay in, and you're gonna have uh, Apple Maps, uh, TuneIn Radio, Pandora. Um, uh, Spotify, a couple other things. But basically, that's going to be your map. And it is pretty nicely integrated in. You can pop in and out. You can pop back to this screen or you can go back to the CarPlay pretty easily. It does pick up your text messages and such. It allows you to do Siri dictation of text messages. Um, really, it actually allows you to do Siri for anything that you would normally do on the, the car. So, um, what else? So, radio, uh, XM. 2016 does have uh, XM, but it doesn't have the rewind anymore. But uh, one other thing I would like to quickly mention is I also went with the 2016 because they upgraded the processor uh, in the, the the computer that's basically used to run all of the audio system, and it's it's pretty snappy. Um, the one in the 2015 was okay, but you know you'd press a button and it would take a second to get there. But this one, pretty much as soon as you press everything, it instantly goes. So. Um, yeah, that's pretty much that, uh, you know, XM, AM, FM. Um, if, I, like I said, if I had to plug in my phone and you'd see the Apple Play, it pops up right away. Um, I did do the AV install, which uh, the way I did it is I drilled a small hole in this piece down here, which Anthony will show you the video. But once you have this thing out, you'll see uh, I drilled a hole here and it gives you a separate cord that uh, you can plug into the phone. Well, I mean, this is an extension lightning cable. Uh, if you're Android, you'd have a different one, but it also lets you kind of tuck it back down in there uh, out of the way if you're not doing that. But that that gave me mirroring to where I could put everything from my phone on the screen here. So uh, YouTube, uh, Google Maps, whatever, but um, it does take two different connections. Uh, the connection that's down here that goes into the glove box it is just your normal kind of car play. Hey, I'm connecting my phone to my car type of connection. This one over here is for if you're gonna do the AV mirroring. So um, they are different. Another thing Anthony's gonna have to set you up with is um, this receptacle down here for the USB is probably different than what you have in your car. Um, it, the car play does require a different USB receptacle. We don't really know why. It seems like it would use the old one, but it doesn't. So uh, that's that's an extra expense that you might have there. But other than that, um, the install's great. I actually like driving the car now. Uh, it was so you know, basic before with a tiny screen and, and, and very little integration over here. Now you have full integration between the two screens and uh, everything looks great. So uh, talk to Anthony Brush at MVI Inc. or uh, give him a call. He'll give you his text number. He'll walk you through it. It will be very easy. Uh, if you watched my videos, you'll think that, hey, wow, that took a lot, but it only took a lot because we were trying to figure it out. And once it was figured out, everything is just basically a harness that you're going to plug in. 
Um, and if you are going from IO4 or to IO5 or you just want to like upgrade from 2014 IO4 to 2016 IO5 or something like that, it's a lot easier than, than the IO3. Uh, the IO3 has a couple connections that you would not need to make in those other ones. So uh, hopefully it worked out for you if you, uh, if you end up doing this. And uh, if you have any questions, please get in touch with Anthony. And, and if Anthony has any questions, I still got the car here where he can get in touch with me and I, I can answer any types of questions that you might have. So anyway, uh, great. Great upgrade for the car and uh, you'll love it.